Well, hello and welcome to um, a Tuesday evening. And this is a little video just to introduce you to the uh, crude oil wave count that I've, that I've been working on. Um, I want to just do a video because I think that'll be kind of the, the quickest way to do an overview without getting too into the weeds on things. So um, here is the weekly count uh, for US crude oil. Um, this is obviously back to the the high back in 2008. So since that time, we've been we've been tracing out a correction, and as you all know, a correction is in three waves. And as you may always may also know that uh, a three wave correction is usually ends in a C wave, which usually ends breaks out into five waves. So that will explain the kind of uh, cacophony of of wave labels here on the weekly chart so let us get down into that weekly chart i want to kind of explain to you where we where we stand right now so we had our wave a down uh, into the late 08 low uh, the initial crash and that was a horrendous crash. I think it was like eighty percent, wasn't it? Seventy-five or eighty percent decline in in six months. And since from that point, we had a three-wave rally. You can see that there pretty clearly. Three waves, and off that three-wave rally, we are now working on wave C down, which has taken an inordinate amount of time. Um, but it's it's. I think it still counts best as a continuation of the overall pattern to the downside. So we have wave one down, wave two is a kind of a complex uh, wave, a complex kind of zigzag, I suppose you'd call it, with wave A being in five waves, wave B was a, a contracting triangle, wave B, and then wave C completed wave two to a lower high. And from that point, you had a, another kind of plunge in uh, 2013, so we had one, two, three, four, and five to finish at this point here, uh, to finish wave three in brackets, wave three red. <clears throat> now, here is where it gets interesting for me, and here is where it may, as well, may also get interesting for you, and it may be a very opportune time that we're, we're talking about crude oil, um, because I think we may be, there's a decent possibility that we're entering the very last phase of this contracting triangle wave four here. Um, this, uh, yeah, wave four red. And you can see from the wave three low, we had a, an initial rally in wave A, a three wave decline in wave B, three wave rally in wave C. It's been three waves in D. And I think we're completing three waves in E at the moment, which spells higher prices for the next, you know, maybe a couple of months, if even. And then we should be uh, again back into trend, into decline mode again. At once this, con if this triangle proves correct, and once it completes, then we have a the prospect of a wave five in red here to the downside. And that should complete wave C. All right, so that was the weekly chart. I want to get down, go down to the daily chart. <clears throat> we're kind of, we're beginning this uh, journey at a kind of a, a lower resolution and building into a higher one. Um, all right, so here's the contracting triangle that I was mentioned. So there's the wave three red low. And off that, we have what can be the I think it's best counted as a three waves up. It's 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 a very um, uniform pattern. You know, it, there's no particular break in it. But I think it was it was a quick reaction to a quick decline. So this particular wave here played out very quickly um, as a kind of a, a counteracting force albeit, uh, you know, not so powerful, but a counteracting force to this incredible decline down in wave three. So we had wave A 
to begin the contracting triangle with a three wave movement in wave B into the low here. And then we had another three waves in wave C. And then we have three waves in wave D uh, completed in, let's say, June, um, mid to late June uh, of the summer, just, just gone. And now we have a rally into the upper trend line again in wave, a possible wave E to complete wave four. The large contracting triangle, five internal waves, <clears throat> all of them break out into three waves. And now we are working on the final wave E. So let's get down into this wave E here to see where we might stand at the moment. So this is yeah, wave C through to E. And I think this is the best way to count it. We had a three, three, five movement in wave A. So that, was, that would have been a, a flat wave. And then we had this, I'm, I'm just breaking out wave C here. So then we had an A, B, C, that would be a running flat wave B. So where wave C finishes lower than the, the in this case, the high of wave A. And then we had a, sorry, a five wave decline in wave C. So we had a three, three, five wave D. From that low, we've had a three wave, we're working on a three wave movement again to the upside. So three waves in A, B and C, complete wave E. And that three waves has broken out into three waves in A, three waves in B. <clears throat> and we may have a five wave structure building at the moment within wave uh, C. I've also shown here a possibility of the alternate count of possible three wave structure to complete wave E, uh, or sorry, to complete wave C, blue. Uh, if we start to get, you know, a, a rally into the upper trend line here, and then a break below this intermediate high here, then, you know, a rally and a break of the uh, intermediate high and a creation of a lower high and a, a right hand shoulder. Then we're talking about a complete um, wave C in three waves rather than uh, the current as shown five waves. Um, you know, that'll, that'll play out over the next few weeks. But for the moment, I think, I think we can expect a continuation into you know, into the mid 50s, <clears throat> well, early to mid 50s, possible 53, maybe 54. I don't want to see a break of 55, 64, as you have here. <clears throat> I don't know what the cash market equivalent of that is. Uh, there might be a, a, I'll clear that up, but uh, the, the, there may be a slight difference between this um, derivative and the cash market. But I don't want to see a break above that wave C high. And uh, that would you know, invalidate the whole kind of contracting triangle uh, approach to this uh, wave four. But for the moment, that is the overview of um, the current wave pattern um, that I'm working on. A large, right now, what we need to be aware of is this, is this possible large contracting triangle in wave four red. And that's what I'll be keeping my on, eye on over the next couple of weeks to see how if there's a possibility that this closes out and that we get a return to trend into the downside. Okay, so that's the um, introduction to the wave count in crude. Um, I'm going to release this to all website subscribers, including paid subscribers. So. Uh, it's just you know, so we all kind of know where we're standing. Uh, for for paid subscribers, obviously, you're going to get the daily updates on this wave count, and uh, we'll drill down a bit, for, a bit further into the um, time frame uh, to kind of uh, put a finer point on uh, on the short term action. Alrighty, that's it for me, and uh, we'll see you tonight for the nightly update. Over and out.